meant to get all out of your blood box. That looks the best nice. thing, the pre oh, what? damn it! Yeah, yeah you, you, you thought. Busy. Yeah, there was heroin in your blood box, and I was like, yay, and then I was like, ah. Oh. Could someone come into Harmony really quick and just charge me for this tile up Marley flatten, please? Hey, it's not my fault, I'm strong. Just it's not your fault. Uh, what's my other car? There it is. Yeah, just charge Marley. How many cars have you wrecked of mine? No, 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 because of Harmony, he can't charge himself, that's why. So he could just give you the money basically back. Or because Marley broke it, make Marley pay for it. Do you need a ride, or are you just uh, yeah, you yeah, back to uh, back to back to Legion, yeah. You need back yeah, around the Legion, brother. Got you, Cheers, brother. Whoa, Dominic. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Give me money. No, fuck Give off. It. A body. Jake, I'm just stopping at the gas station at Frosty's Humane. Yeah, I, I can give you something else. Yeah, so man. Just how's it going? I saw you before in game. I really wanted to, like, talk to you, but there was no reason to talk to you. There you go. Bye bye. <laughs> what are you, boys? Good money. Good money. Yeah, money is money. We did two A classes, and we are gonna do more. I hope Let's so. Let's take this Thanks. one back. I just want that limit. There's no, he's a professional fighter because one, I don't want no cop to get injured or anything. Yeah, we don't. Just anyone. No, we don't home. want anyone to get hurt. Um, what's know. your What's your husband think? Tony Ferguson. <laughs>yeah, it looks like you went around the side over there, you hit the fence.
Not today, mother. <laughs> oh, it's gravel. It's big gravel. What are we gonna do now? Uh, die. These are the top five military dress uniforms. We're not with the guys awaiting Raymond, we're with the lifers. So stop stressing and save your strength. <clears throat> You're gonna need it. Woo! She pretty. Look, she got pretty little shoes on. Give me shoes, baby. You heard me? Give my shoes like a good little bitch. Good girl. Give my glasses. Yeah, there's just one more thing I want from you. Look at this redwood motherfucker. What you want? To give you a choice. See, you're in my house, fatso, and you didn't ask permission. So you and your friends can leave now, or they can carry your fat ass out in a bucket. Now I'll count to three. Bitch. Do you know who you're talking to? One, two. <laughs> Now get out of my cell. We're not with the guys awaiting rain. A week? I don't know what is in there. They're like spores. So she filled her water container inside of an Arby's, right? And she was asking, how come when she used the soda machines and put the water into the containers, the water ended up moldy a couple days later? Come here. There's actually two reasons for that. The first one is because it's Arby's. And the second reason is because of a thing called Caliform bacteria. Now that's bacteria that's predominantly found inside of soda machines because they share the same liquids as water as they do with regular sugary sodas. And if that plastic from the tubes are not cleaned regularly, they build a bacteria. So uh, ideally, if you were to get water from a, a soda machine in the mornings, you're going to have a lot of bacteria in that water. Literally fill up a water container and wait two days and see what happens there. I don't ever do this right. All right. So you do it in your ass. How do you do it in your ass? I'll show you. Oh. Give me this. Hang on, hang on, stop. I don't like the way you're handling my gear. Okay, so number one, you go like this. Boom. There you go. All right. Okay. Now, I'll show you. All right. You hold my gear. Okay. And then, where do you do it? So like, right, I go right here. Okay, hang on. Okay, ready? Yep. Boom. How'd you do that so quick? Oh, I can feel it. Oh, dude. <laughs> Thanks right. for shooting up my gear. No problem, bro. I don't ever do this right. All right. So you do it in your Last week, I loaned my mini excavator to my neighbor, and it came back uh, with a damaged coupler. Pouring out hydraulic fluid. You can reuse zip ties if you get a little O-ring pick and just push that pawl back. One of those hoses was pretty loose. I tightened it up. So let's uh, put the pressure to it and see if that fixed it. I just noticed another thing that's damaged. This is a, was a little protective cover. That's pretty well bent up there. So we'll straighten that guy. And that won't come loose. Last week. So in jail, jail you immediately have to fight. They set it up like schoolyard fights. Right, once, um, I'll be there in a sec. Growing up on an Amish farm before I left the Amish, we would always try to stop the worldly English people from trespassing on our Amish property. So we had this county road that snaked through our Amish 95 or so acres that we had. And late at night, there's very little traffic, but when there is some, we would notice pretty quickly. Sometimes they would go through our lane back into our woods and we'd sneak back there and catch them trespassing. But we never ever confronted them face to face. But this is what we did to the worldly trespassers. <laughs> Any worldly trespassers always got a potato up the exhaust. And guess what? They never got very far. <laughs> 
us little Amish kids, all my brothers, we would sit back there behind a little hill where nobody could see us, and we were just laughing and laughing because they were broke down. They couldn't figure out what was going on. The one evening, one of the trespassers actually called for a tow truck. Growing up on an Amish farm before I left, I had sex with my screenwriting teacher. And I go, hey, look, uh, can I shower your place? She goes, sure, I don't care. She was like kind of cute, like 40-year-old, quirky, weird earrings, big beehive kind of thing. Yeah. She was like, yeah, sure, just come over, but I'm having a dinner party at 8, so if you don't mind getting out of there. So I get in, I go, hey, look, I'll take a shower, I'll be out of your hair, no problem. She goes, sure, sure, but have a glass of wine. We don't really know each other. I have a glass of wine. We have two glasses of wine, three glasses of wine. We're talking about life and love and philosophy. We're going at it. We have another glass of wine. I'm like, hey, look, lady, it's 7.30. <laughs> I got to get the hell out of here. You're having a dinner party at eight. I remember being in the shower, washing my body and be like, this is so nice. And then I go, am I going to fuck this woman? So I got out of the shower. Now it's like 7.48. Now we're standing up on her couch looking at a painting on the wall. We're like face to face. And she goes, uh, you know what? I want you to come in my face. Swear to God. And now we're just going at it. We're on the floor rolling around, knocking coffee tables. I wake up the next morning. There's blood everywhere. <laughs> she was she was on her period. And I just didn't notice it because of the dark. It was just I had sex with my screenwriting teacher. And I go, hey, look, uh, can I shower your place? She goes, sure, I don't care. She was like kind of cute, like 40-year-old, quirky, weird earrings, big beehive kind of thing. Yeah. She was like, yeah, sure, just come over, but I'm having a dinner party at 8, so if you don't mind getting out of there. So I get in, I go, hey, look, I'll take a shower. I'll be What the fuck?
This Saturday night, there's not even going to be a fight. I'm going to mercy kill this old man. God chose me for this fight. God is the teacher. Derek is the student, and I am God's instrument. When I squeeze your lungs, Derek, and you beg me for life, then your heart will open up to the Lord. I'm going to knock him out round one, bitch. Wait. What did he say again? He said God chose him. That doesn't even make sense, really. <laughs> when you eat through plastic too, when you are paralyzed from neck down, then your family will gather around your hospital bed to see the new day. OK, he, he know we just talking here, right? This Saturday night, there's not even going to be a fight. I'm going to mercy kill this old man. God chose me for this fight. God is the teacher. That ball is absolutely tattooed. Oh! And what a roll! What a roll from Keen McKinney! Ni hao. Ni hao. Oh, what's up, man? Ni hui shou zhong wei ma? Wo hui shou yi dian zhong wei. Wow. <laughs> If they don't let us in, they might throw shots at the bouncer. Activist medicine got it straight from out the doctors. I'm with RJ, but I call him Wayne because he's a shot. Pick up the ladder, put it. You guys look like a before and after for a product that doesn't work. <laughs> Are we just like before and before? Said, <laughs> for real? Is that funny really? from, the, from the break room? What does ADD stand for? A dose of diabetes? <laughs> Okay. okay. I wasn't ready for any of this. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have something to say? Well, yeah, it's, it's, it's you not ass You just standing here. You guys are wearing sweatpants and sweat skin. Have you guys just completely given up on pussy? Is that right? <laughs> you guys hey, say, shut your ass up, man. Nut ass. Maybe Doughboy, not me. I'm out here now. Swing. Doughboy? Wait, what? His, His name, name is Doughboy. Doughboy? Yeah. I spell it D-O-B-O-Y. He thinks he's D-O-B-O-Y. Yeah, I had a feeling you'd misspell it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are two of my favorites. Two chins and ASAP Rocky Road. <laughs> wow. 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 You didn't say this nigga was coming today. Granddaddy right here. You guys look like a buff. All right, guys, it's that time of the year again. I'm gonna visit my mother. I'm gonna have this hat on here and cover up my worldly haircut. And uh, she told me I have to wear the Amish clothing in order to visit her. And I have to park next door down here. It's a little pallet shop next to my mom's. And so I'm gonna go in here and see how it goes. It's a little bit early. Last year I visited her in October and now it's only May. So I'm kind of rushing it, but she did say to limit it one time per year. So. Come on in with me. Let's see how it goes. All right, I gotta get this hat off. A little bit too tight around his big head. <laughs> it didn't get, go too bad. She didn't really like my uh, lay down collar. Usually, I button it up all the way up underneath the way, she, the way they want it according to their rules. But I left it open this time just because it feels so tight. She wouldn't. All right, guys. It... Tell them I wanted bacon and eggs on my birthday and that I gave you that ticket. Those numbers are GPS coordinates. What? Burial site. That's where they'll find Hank and Steve Gomez. It's where I buried our money. And the men who stole it from us, the men who still have it, they murdered Hank and Steve and put them in that hole. You trade that for a deal with the prosecutor. Get yourself out of this, Sky. All the things that I did, you need to understand. I have to hear one more time that you did this for the family. You did it for me. I liked it. I was good at it. I was. I was alive. When are we home soon? Tell them I wanted bacon and eggs on my birthday. I gave you that ticket. Those numbers are GPS coordinates. What? Burial site. That's where. Order with me. Everything comes exactly how it would come. Bring in the boys to Pleasure Island, and then he. Bro. What the hell was that? You f that 
didn't sold out more than your last three tables. Even your name is <laughs> Oh yeah? Strong words from someone who chose to put a hole in their nose and could only afford one tattoo sleeve. And look at the two of you! I'm impressed you can still laugh after two divorces and your discreet subscription to ED medication. By the way, we all know it's not your truffle order. And you're right, it's not Nicorette Nico, is it? It's Nepo Nico, because the only reason you have this job after your record is because you're the owner's nephew. Now remake my burger for table 25 and try to get it within five degrees of medium this time. What the hell is that? It's a blood thinner medication, okay? I chose to have one sleeve, by the way. Okay, I did it, I did it. My heart is pounding. Nice. Now what, they just leave me alone? I mean, it's hard to say. You'll know you're in if they offer you. The Pentagon, he told us, overpays for almost everything. For radar and missiles, helicopters, planes, submarines, down to the nuts and bolts. This, Bill, is a, an oil pressure switch that NASA used to buy. Well, their oil switch, with all of the cabling, costs $328. This oil switch we paid over $10,000 for it. So what accounts for that huge difference? Gouging. What, what else can account for it? The Pentagon. Is the door to Iron Man totally closed? Because I don't believe it is. Oh. You guys can go through time now. You can go, there's, there was, you know, you already know. opened up that door. Well, let me ask you the question. If I pick the jersey back up and put it on, wouldn't you feel a little bit no, no. Oh. Here's here's what I think. They go through a few semi lackluster Avengers <laughs> movies without you. you. Ready for this? I'm ready. Here's the scene. There's a moment where the world. So I got word today from one of the Amish taxi drivers, one of those Yoder Toter drivers, <laughs> that my niece is getting married. So I came out here to the Amish community to investigate. And right there's already a clue that it's true that. There's a wedding because there's all those Yoder Toter bands coming in from different states. Another one sitting over here. Yep, there's a wedding. There's some more Yoder Toters. Yep, and now we got proof. They're all gathered around there, and it's definitely a wedding. That would be my oldest brother. So, I need you to charge me uh, 500 bucks, please. All right, let me back in. I heard some shit blowing up, and I'm not letting my car be exposed. Fair enough. Go ahead. You're good. Five hundred. Yeah, five hundred. Cause I did a little bit of work for my own car, so that'd be hard, by the way. Oh, nice, nice. Let me ask you something. Like this exhaust, or? I do quite like coming out the side. All right. Do you like these, or do you like these better? Honestly, I'm 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 more of a first one guy kind of guy. This I like, one? Yeah, I like that one a little more. It's like it's nice, but it's not as like big and obnoxious. It doesn't take away from it too much. All right. Uh, yeah, I towed Pete's Lamborghini out of the way. I just brought it over the other side. Do what? I I towed Pete's Lambos in the way. Yeah. Sorry. Well, Sorry. That's fine. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, he was trying to drive it into the garage, and some voodoo magic bullshit happened, and um, it went it, it went up on the roof, and then yeah. Okay. Yep. He said, "Don't worry about it. He'll wait till I just an me, So. Oh, okay. Come out. 
it's gonna be a how. Hmm? It's gonna be a how-to video, a, a video coming out soon for the KK. So. I have a question. Uh, do we camber tires here? Yeah, but it's five grand. Oh, because I didn't even know how to do it. Because somebody was asking about it, but I just had no clue how to do it. I was like, oh, you have to no, deal with that. Only, only certain individuals. Ah, uh, okay, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. See, what I thought about doing is see how the rear wheel is, like, tucked in a little bit. I thought about, yeah. like, bringing them out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if I do that, it's going to cost me two grand. Yeah. I, it uh... just needs to stick out just a little bit more. Yeah, well, if... Just on the rear. If you look at the thing that Victor posted, it looks fucking sick. So I, I hope I hope we do end up doing that. It'd be awesome. This company does not get your gun out. Come on, you fucking door. Some shit was blowing up there earlier. What, at the, um... I think it was at the gate. I don't know, something around here blew up, and I was like, fuck that, and then you pulled up, and I was like, I'm throwing my Lambo in. Not my Lambo, my fucking demon. Right. Who's talking? You are right. Oh shit, I just saw Lauren with a gun. Hi. Hi Lauren, bye Lauren. Hi. Oh, okay, if it's just Lauren, then that's fine. Well, I saw some people hopping on roofs on the other side. So I don't know what's going on. Like ac across the alleyway. Some weird oh. shit. Anywho. I, uh, I told Dylan, I was like, hey, if you guys ever see any Sand Kings, let me know, because I want to buy one. So, hopefully, that comes well, to fruition. Apparently, he's leaving, so... He's... What, leave... Oh, for today, or just in general? I think just in general, to be honest. Oh. So he was getting rid of a bunch of his car, so... I don't know if he was trying to make room, or what was going on there. But he took my number down, he's like, hey, if I run into any, I'll call you. Good luck. But, alright, I'm heading back in town. Alright, see ya. Yeah, okay, questions, uh, just call me. Yeah. Because it takes too long for me to text. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes, depends on how I'm feeling. Alright. Yeah. Uh, my daughter Brittany goes to school with your daughter Taylor. Uh, yeah, yeah. And apparently uh, Taylor's been bullying my daughter. I had to do something that was going to convince them 100% that I wasn't old Bill. But I needed to try and make sure that it was legal. But I needed to do something. And, and what did you end up coming up with? We went to another pub and they started playing. There was this Duke, there was this um, computer goal. There was a game called Dave Lee Travis's Pot Black thing, right? Okay. Play this thing, right? And the question was, who won the World Cup in 1966? So I'm looking at it, looking at it. They're all screaming at me. Answer it, you know, Jim, answer it, answer it, answer it. And then I just grabbed the sergeant by the throat, who had no idea what I was doing. He said, why have you told him? Why have you told him? Why, why you, know, da, da, what, you know, you've told him. And he's like, well, I don't know what you're going on about. And he didn't have a clue what I was going mm -hmm. on about. And I just went, you know, it's not my fault, I can't read or write. And one of them just turned around and went, no, look. My God, you just, there's you accusing him of being old Bill and he can't even read or write. Because <laughs> I then end up for 18 months having to make out I can't read or write. <laughs> I had to do something that was going to convince them 100% that I wasn't old Bill. But I needed to try and make sure that it was legal. But I needed to do something.
confused. Hello, you. Long time no see. Mr. Pickham. <laughs> You're alive. I'm alive, he says. How are you doing? <laughs> I can't believe it. Someone said you was dead. As you see, I'm very much in. And I'm so glad you've done so well with yourself. I don't know what to say. Oh. Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Hello, Ian. Long time no see. Excuse me, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Hi, excuse me. Yeah? Yeah. We need you to take your seat. The fasten seatbelt sign is on. Yeah, I'm just going to go to the bathroom for a second. I'll be right back, OK? I understand what you want to do. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to need you to observe the fasten seatbelt sign. That'd be much appreciated. Right, it's just I, I read on the internet that it's not against the law for me to go to the bathroom while the fasten seatbelt sign is on, so. Seatbelt sign is on. But is it against the law, though? The light is on. Is it against the law? You see that there's a picture of a seatbelt on that sign. No, but is it against the law, though? The fasten seatbelt sign is on. But is it against Sir, the law, though? Seatbelt sign is but on. But is it against the law? Seatbelt sign is on. But is it against the law? Seatbelt sign. But is it against the law? It's on. Seatbelt sign is on. Seatbelt sign is on. Lawful. Seatbelt sign is on. Sir, you're law. being difficult. You're being law. very difficult. Law. Seatbelt. Law. Seatbelt. Law. Seatbelt. Not illegal. Not seatbelt. illegal. Not illegal. Okay. Legal. Fasten the Illegal. Excuse me, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Hi, excuse me. One of my first assignments was an interview with a man who ran a venom research facility in Nebraska. <laughs> when I got there, the research facility was actually a mobile home full of snakes. <laughs> some in cages, some free range. The scientist who ran the facility had been bitten by his snakes so many times that the hospital wouldn't send an ambulance all the way out to his home anymore. It was terrifying, as I have a phobia of things that can kill me. Found a self-hatred, forget what I'm saying. Where the beat go? Behind me is a Chevy Colorado, and this truck is mid. This is the Colorado Trail Boss, but you know it's not boss? This completely plastic front bumper. 
yet the side of the truck looks really nice. You have this built-in step right here. It's gonna say Chevrolet stamped into the back. If I pull down your tailgate, it's really nicely damped and you have spray and bed liner. And if I pull back these two tabs, I get secret storage. Then it gets cheap again. You have these cloth seats, your entire dashboard and door feels like it's made by Fisher Price and you don't even get a physical switch to turn on your headlights. It's built into the screen because that's cheaper. Then it gets nice again. You have standard four wheel drive, you get a digital display and built in Wi-Fi, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto plus Google. You get storage space underneath your seat but because it's a small truck, you don't get a lot of room. Under the hood is a turbo four cylinder. It makes 310 horsepower and can tow 7,700 pounds. Okay, so maybe it's not that. I recently watched your marathon video where you ran oh, 30 you. miles. When you posted that video, I went through all the other videos. Oh God. <laughs> I was really impressed. How did you get started on that? And you start with Buzzfeed. When I moved to LA, I actually moved out because I was signed to a professional cycling team for road cycling. And while I was here, I was also working at Buzzfeed because being a female professional athlete is not a very lucrative thing, specifically in cycling. I can't speak for other sports. And so I was literally like waking up at four, training, going Going to work, making the crazy BuzzFeed videos you've mm -hmm. seen. It kind of got to this point where I was like, I feel like I should merge these two loves. And so I left my job at BuzzFeed and started Challenge Accepted, which is the series that I do on my channel. And I kind of said, Boss, let me get two burgers on the store. Get out quick. Why does it smell of wee in here? The fuck is this joke, man? Don't stand near me, son. Got your mouthwash muddled up with cat piss. Take two steps back and wait your turn. Fuck off, old man. I'll wet you. The only thing you can wet your underpants, son. Now, back two steps. Yeah. Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Now, if you're gonna stab, stab, trigger. What are you, like a four tops tribute act or something? Come on, what do you got for me? What do you got for me? Now, make it quick. Make it funny. Fuck! You! Jesus, that's disappointing. No, no, not that. Go again. Now. Fucking do him, lad! Yeah, oh, shake him! Oh, oh, shit! Ah! Come on, you dickhead! Ah! In fact, you win! Ah! My eyes! You are embarrassing yourself here, lads. Kids, stab, girls, shoot, boys, punch, grown ups, fight with their heads. That's where the real battle is. Up here, in the grey. Oh, Boss, let me get two burgers on the stove. Get out quick. Why does it smell a wee in here? The fuck? Trigger is dead, dead. All right. Nope, still frozen. Okay, she is. Get ejected. Oh, that. Push that. Come on. It's coming. She's coming. Oh, nope, we got a problem. Okay, that is. Yeah, look at that. That's wonderful. Okay, can I get the safety off? Is the first question. Oh! Let's keep running. Oh! <laughs> what is something that you swear happened, but you have no proof and nobody believes you? I have a farm surrounded by woods. We see lots of turtles on the woods edge. One of these turtles learned that we put food on the front porch every morning for the cats. He'd make the long trek up from the woods and drag himself up on the porch every day, spring to fall, for a nice meal. We named him Rusty. Rusty grew to trust us and would eat from my hand and if he arrived early, he would patiently wait by the door until someone noticed him. A few times when the door was open I'd find him waiting in the living room. Once when they were out on the porch in the evening, I found Rusty sleeping in my slipper. It fit him perfectly and only his little round bum was showing. Everyone loved Rusty except the cats. They were incensed that he had the gall to eat out of their bowl and they couldn't do anything about it. They hissed at him whenever they saw him. Rusty didn't seem to mind. Our cats are pretty smart kitties and to let us know they wanted to come in, one had learned to scratch on the door and one actually knocked. My daughter was home for a visit and we were in the living room when we heard a knock. Oops. I had forgotten to put the food out and Waldo, my cat, was letting me know. I got up and opened the door and who was looking up at me? Rusty. He learned to knock on the door. What is something that you swear happened? Ja.
Det är nog lite blått igen nu. Ja. That's why I like Dog the Bounty Hunter because he like he acted like he had authority that a police officer would have. Yeah. It was brilliant. But you know, he, he got me. He'd always let. He goes the N word. Hey, you want to smoke? <laughs> oh, yeah, hey, yeah. Remember that? He always goes, "Hey, look, I know we had to chase you down for eight days, you and I called you a mother <laughs> and humiliated you in front of your family. You want me to let you a cigarette?" <laughs> That's why I like Dog the Bounty. This is only for trained professionals. What people don't understand is that you actually never cut the car, right? So what you're doing is you're cutting between the layers of the film. So there's like the top coat, then there's the polyurethane layer, then there's the adhesive down below. But I've done this for a couple thousand hours, right? I've done this so many times that I'm confident to not cut myself. Look at this, this looks fantastic. And yes, this is a sharp blade. Look at all these little hairs, gone, right? Pew, 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 bye. We didn't cut anything. Still got a fresh tattoo, still looks great. We have no blood. That's why you should get PPF, but get it done at a quality shop with quality installers, and you'll get a quality job. This is only for trained. If everybody except for the delivery drivers could grab something to eat, it will be, will be, We'll be on our way here. I'll let y'all get a bite of mine if you want it. I mean, I, <laughs> drivers, y'all stop by gas stations and things like that throughout the day, and these warehouse guys don't get to. So we'll feed them, and y'all can just stop and get y'all a biscuit on your next run here. Hold on. Which leads me into today's topic, diesel. Delivery drivers, we need to cut some expenses here. Um, idling is no longer permitted in the in the company truck. So that's cold. Okay. So we didn't have a biscuit because we can't stop anymore. And we can't idle. But you said we can grab something when we leave. How does that make how, how does that make sense? Explain that. So to you me. mean to tell me the truck drivers don't get to eat on the clock anymore? <laughs> Why are we always getting fucked? If everybody except for the delivery drivers could. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Maxie finally reaches the man who's worn out from fighting the rip. Confused and tired, the man chooses an unconventional position. I just wanted to have a bit of a relaxing ride in. You know, looking up at the stars. Oh, he's faced him. How good it is, this is epic. A very unconventional rescue. Very original. Um. Listen, uh, you come to Philadelphia anytime. You see what you want. Any size, any shape. Right, we'll get it for you. A nice Italian girl. Little spaghetti and meatballs. Oh, I prefer boys. Excuse me, I didn't catch that. I said I prefer boys. Italians, actually. Sometimes Greek, but I am not prejudiced, no. Because I happen to have had a Negro once. And a Tahitian who I bent up like a pretzel. I really fucking hurt him. <laughs> you got a lot of fucking balls, you admit that, kid. You know what? You got some fucking Seneca style. A certain technique where you can take the back where a guy is stuck. If a guy is trying to get the mount, oftentimes they will get a foot stuck. Now, normally what guys do is they try to get this foot free. So what they'll do is they'll try to control the body like this, and they'll push down with the instep and try to free this leg up and get the full mount. But instead of doing that, this
Hi everyone, I certainly did not expect this drain being cleared the way this guy did it, but it's cool nonetheless. <laughs> Get it in there, bro. Oh, wow, yeah, that's a good one. No, I think the blockage is right here. Oh. If I drop my phone in there, I'd actually just buy a new one. The guy we got has got a great walk and everything, and when he translated into Jar Jar, it was great. The thing is, though, one of the things that could make this thing the most special thing in the world is that it is a pure CG character. Yeah. But what we're trying to do in the end is no, speed up the animation. We have the guy anyway. Yeah. We're shooting the guy anyway. So if you have the guy in the suit, it costs you the aggravation of how does he stand it in the suit, the wear and tear in the suit, does it look good? Him getting it out it's, of the suit. It's, it's, yeah, no, I know. But yeah. at this end, that's all that stuff. But what you gain is that there are moments where he interacts with humans and everything, which cut oh, costs very is. fast. The guy we got has got a great... This is pretty sweet, y'all. Wait till you see this. He's talking about how sometimes you have these nails and you can't get to them with a regular hammer because it's a really tight space and it's all awkward. Well, wait till you see what Crescent made. Watch this hammer. You can flip the claw up locks in place and it makes it so you can get down in these tight spaces and the neat thing about it is it lets you shift the weight of the hammer forward so you actually have some leverage this what'd you guys do in australia on 9 11 did you care oh, oh, yes. Yes. Yeah, that is a great is question this is the yeah. best yeah. question Wonderful we question our morning cartoons every morning mm. was a tv show called cheese tv and we the whole generation Where's my fucking cheese TV? I, I no knew one knew what was going on. <laughs> yeah, if you didn't see it live. The, every channel, every channel just the news. Right. Like, where's fucking Dragon Ball Z? <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. Gotta, I gotta be, uh, like, I was a smart kid, so I, I understood the gravity <laughs> of the situation. <laughs> I was like, I think, I think yeah. Pokemon can take a rest. <laughs> a lot of you always ask, how I get my griddle so nice and black. And I've had it for about three years, so it has built up over time, but here's the method I use. I always eat with my family, and then I come back out after the meal, and I turn all my burners on high. I then take this Dollar Tree bench scraper and scrape off all the hard stuff. Once the griddle's hot enough, I put some water on it and let it sizzle and steam off. It's called deglazing, and I push all that back in the grease trap. I repeat that process if I need to, and then I turn off the gas. Once the gas is off, I go ahead and start with a clean paper towel and wipe down the entire surface. And then I coat a paper towel with vegetable oil and rub across the whole surface, leaving the oil coating on there until the next time I cook. I also have a hard cover and a soft cover, but that's really all I do to maintain my griddle. Bakersfield is a fucking... Worthless fuck town. It's a terrible fucking town. There's a fucking Caucasian tweaker, homeless person there in this wealthy part of town. She's been walking around. Onto the street for a while now, endangering her life and just possibly. Sparkling or regular? Sparkling.
Hey man, what's up? Hey man, you, you, you're gonna think I'm on drugs or something like that, but when I'm driving the car, it just randomly stops in the middle of the road and does like 10 burnouts and then sets off again. Let me take a peek at it. See if there's anything wrong with it. Yeah, man. I mean, nothing, like, there's some stuff down that's, uh, in, like, the high 70 percentage, but most of it looks pretty good. Uh, like, your, uh, your axle and your spark plugs are in the 70s. Uh, well, maybe I'll just get it all fixed while I'm here, you know what I mean? Alright, so I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start at the top, because sometimes if I just do the engine and the body panels, it'll fix everything, so let me try that out. Okay. Alright, so it looks like I am going to need to do some other stuff. Uh, are you okay with uh, the payment that it might be to fix everything? Yeah, yeah, that's completely fine. Alright, let me just write down what I need to buy. Alright, total is going to be 850 after I do all this. Okay, that's fine, I'll pay on car food. Alright, can I actually have you bank transfer me the cost of the parts and then I will just charge you for the labor? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So it's gonna be six fifty two and my number is two six one. And then it's going to be a $200 uh, labor charge, so I'll charge you that now, and then I'll work on your car. Alright, there you go. Let me get this done for you. Oh, that's not the right thing anymore.
Alright, I'm almost done. I'll do this and I'll get your car wiped down and you'll be good to go. Yeah, no worries. Alrighty, just a quick little, that's not right, quick little wipe down. Alright, there you go. Have a good day, man. Thanks, honey, you too. I'm already second in command. What fucking more do you guys want from me? <coughs> You're fired. Done the most out of everyone in San Syndicate. Oh no, you have not. Maybe you as of maybe you. as of recent, but not back then. I did more I, I, as of recent, as of recent, because I've taken like two carrot carrot single handed. I will take you to the hospital, get in. Which part of the Then, Snowy, give her a ride. Watch my Mustang. I need to go somewhere. I'm watching it, I'm watching it. Where are we going? Hospital, please. Where are we going? Marley's car. Stop. Oh, good. Just a joke on me, bro. Just a joke. Oh. Hey, Marley, where's your car? <laughs> get off my car. Wait, don't make me get the knife and stab me. I don't know, man. I really don't. That's good. That's good. Sucks when you can't reach in your pockets. Or you can. It's like really, really slow. It's like it's like you're trying to cop a feel to yourself. It's like no, I just want to get some neat.
house, I'm leaving for the house. I'm a demon, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I yes, and a lovely one at that. Hey man, what's up? What's up? You know who's uh, McLaren that is over there? Or oh, the Lambo? Uh, it's Pete's, but I think he flew out. It was all, it was being weird. It like fell from our ceiling and shit. I just towed it over there so it was out of the way. Gotcha. I wonder, I wonder if I should impound it. Uh, maybe? I don't know. I mean, I don't have a problem with it being way over there. So. Alright. Oh, hopefully it's still there when he comes back or when the tsunami hits. Yeah, I think he's waiting for the tsunami. Gotcha. Alright. Oh, I gotta pull a car out of the garage, I guess, because I got kind of stranded up here. <laughs> All right. Need to ride over the garage? I'll just run, I'm good. Alright. Appreciate it, though. Yeah, no problem, man. All right, catch you later. Let's see him. Says of this. Um, I'm just wondering whether you remember the Derby match in 1967 at Goodison FA Cup, fifth round, and it was shown on a big screen at Anfield at the That's same right. time. Do you remember it? Yeah, I do. I played in it. Did you? I was goalkeeper for Liverpool. Really? Yeah. Well, that's a stroke of luck, me meeting <laughs> nice. you. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, can you remind me of your name? Please? Tommy Lawrence. Tommy, nice to meet you. What, what do you remember about it? It was a great game, yes. Alan Ball scored the winner. He did indeed. Yeah, he did, yeah. Actually, fuck it, since you're here and I had to pull this thing out anyways. Yeah. What you want done to it? Uh, let's take a look at the... Uh, so I definitely want to paint it. Can I, uh, can you pass uh, me the keys, please? Oh. oh shit, give me one second. I forgot to write up a log for the last guy. So it'll just take me a second. Sure. I gave you the keys while you're doing that. Alrighty, let's check it out. Uh, so what kind of a uh, bodywork can be done to this thing? Alrighty, so it looks like uh, you have the option to, to respray it, to change the color of your plates, to change your rims, and tint your windows. There's not too much on this. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Alright, so uh, we'll go with the window tint for sure. You thinking like this, or a little bit lighter? That's good. Alright. Alright. All right. And then, uh, I 
I kind of want to keep it like a blue color, but I'd like to see like, like what kind of cool, you know, like blue colors we got. If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you think like flashy blue colors? Less flashy or more flashy? Like more flashy, like uh, like uh, yeah, like color shifts or you know, like pearlescence or something. Oh, yeah. okay. So you see, just. Not gonna change anything for sure. Just seeing what we have. That's not right. Just seeing what we have through here. Oh, come on. A little window went away. You, I'm assuming you're not liking any of these, really. The the white like color shifty pearlescent wasn't bad. This. Is that? It actually doesn't look bad. What do you think? You think you're gonna keep it or? I mean, it looks it looks pretty clean. Yeah. I, right. I actually like it on this car. I want to see though, what the uh what the secondary color does. So I'm just gonna change it to a matte black. Did you see anything change? I'll change it to a red now. Uh, let me take a walk around the car. Look for something red, tell me. So just change it red. Uh, yeah, it might not do anything. Yeah, it's. Out. I'm not seeing anything unless the uh, the paint's covering it. I know some of these paints so. uh, like cover the secondary colors. Okay, so we, do you want to change like your rim color or anything? Yeah, sure. What do you think? You think more of like a metallic or a matte color? Uh, probably like a metallic gold, maybe. So we could also do. Oh, what did that? Oh, did that change? What is that changing? Maybe you can't do it on this rims. On these rims, or just give. Yeah, I think it's just giving me the option. So we might have to change the rims. Let me see if I can find oh, a rim. Yeah. That's like exact. Or close. Uh, it doesn't have to be exact, but I, I do like that it's kind of like a yeah. split five spoke, you know, instead of a. That is certainly not it. Mm, these are going to the custom rims. There's holy shit, there's a lot of them. Yeah, I think there's what, like, over a hundred. Those are sort of similar. What are you thinking on those? I think I can change the color on them. They're not terrible. Let me see. Uh, the red's a little, uh... Yeah, that's what red. I was thinking. Nope. Um... Try, um, I think it's either 42, 42 from the custom rooms. Ah, uh, let me look. That's 42. Right, it wasn't 42, maybe it was 60 or 62. He's still there, bud. Yeah, sorry, I was in my head for a second. Uh, oh, what what number did you say? Pop. Uh, 60 or 62, it might have been. 
That's 60. That's 62. So it definitely wasn't those. Wait, just out of curiosity, I don't think that does, but do you still have the secondary color set to red? I do, actually. Hey, I mean, hey, hey, I wonder. So I've noticed a lot of these rims have, uh, have red. Oh, there, yeah, it there it is. There you go. There it is. Okay. Uh, so. Go back to that original wheel set that you had, that uh, had that red trim. Let me think, that was probably... It's like close to the beginning, I think. It was certainly, I th think... I was going to go through, I think it was under the custom rims. Was it... These, no. Was it these ones? No. It was, uh, it was similar to the stock ones, but... Uh, just going to it through until I find it. I think I might just land on a random one. There we go. Those are nice. Uh, all right. Let me see. So I think I have them painted gold right now. I can do more of like a metallic gold. That's like not straight gold, but yeah, that'll work. Let me see. Well, let me, let me just show you some options for it. Oh, right now I have them as black, so... Hold on. Uh, we got pure gold, we got brushed gold. What are you thinking about gold like this, or... Do you want me to go in here? Oh, I'd probably have to change the... I kind of like that color, actually. This right here? Yeah. All right. You thinking of anything it's like else? A, it's like a not quite gold, but gold. All right. Anything um, else? Let's see. And, uh, all right. and then how much are turbos? Those are like, what, 6K, Turbo, 8K? Turbos are 8K. Let's throw a turbo in this, too. All yeah, right. Pretty good. I will get you the tally on everything before we do anything, just to let you know what it's gonna be. Yeah, and then I gotta, I gotta send you the money for the parts too. Oh yeah, yeah. Alrighty. All right, all in labor included is going to be thirteen thousand five hundred dollars. Okay. All right, uh, let me get you just the so it's going to be eleven thousand that I need, and then twenty five hundred in labor. My ID, give me one second. My ID is two six one. There you go. Thank you. Hold on, that weirded me the fuck out. Hold on. I got the that? money. I got the money. It's just my wallet. Okay, that was weird. It said I had eighteen thousand for some reason, which wasn't right. All right, let me get you everything. Let's get the turbo in first.
Alrighty, turbo's in. Let me get this painting. there. Alright, let me charge right. you the labor now, and then you are free to go. Alright, I appreciate it. On the card, please. Thank awesome, you very appreciate much. you. Have a good day, man. You too. This is how I spell the word church. <laughs> no, fuck you. <laughs> Love you too. Bye. Bye. Oh. Bye. Don't, don't yep. start here. Don't start. Oh my gosh, look at my freaking cat. Oh, I you. said don't start. So what was the lead up to? I didn't even see him. I knew they must have been doing something because the cops were really busy. What's Dilo's YouTube? We will link it in a second because I'll finish up soon and then we can go raid Dilo if he's still alive. 
That one will. Oh, oh I'm not even looking at no shit. Oh, my God, freaking... oh, oh, well, we're just... Gosh, it's on. Oh, oh my God. I'm bleeding now. Who is driving that? Design, does anyone have... Come in the... Come in my... Did he die? He died! Oh, my... Are you fucking serious? Are you guys all right? Oh. Get oh. him into the hospital, bro. Take him not. to the hospital. Wait, wait, I think medic. Take him medic. to the hospital. Medic. Think you're medic. There's no EMS. Think you're medic. Yeah. Do you need help before I fly out? No, <laughs> it's fine. Do medic uh, quick, Jordan. Yeah, I think I'm medic. Uh, the, the stupid died. guy uh, <laughs> yeah, killed Jordan. Oh, <laughs> no, he started piece. getting out the car Mr. before Pitty. I stopped. Elite was doing parkour. Ah, oh, yeah, they were doing that yesterday. I was watching Lauren's stream. I did get out before I stopped, to be fair. Holy crap! Yeah, but that's why you say get out. Right. My poor freaking car. Yo, take care of Jordan, bro. I gotta do the boost with here. Alright, if police come, I'm going for a pit, though. I'm just letting you know. Yeah, you ain't doing that unless I tell you to. What's this cop doing? Police are chasing you, I mean. I'm gonna pit them, not you, obviously. Yeah, I know, but <laughs> it ain't no worth it if we doesn't have the tracker. You know what I mean? Yeah, I suppose. Right. I don't know what that cop's doing. Do I have any drugs on me? I don't think I do. Alright, guys. Hey, the, 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 the 